Surfboard check, wetsuit check, ocean safety double check. We finally reached the part of the series where you will start getting active. There are three fundamentals in surfing that you need to learn about and understand before you go out and start catching waves. Paddling the infamous pop-up, and proper stance. In this video, I will cover paddling and best practices for how to paddle on a surfboard. You. See this? This is paddling. Well, pretend paddling, but either way, you better get used to it. As a beginner, you will spend lots of time paddling in the ocean. The better you are at paddling, the better surfer you will be. The best paddlers get the most waves, and the most waves equals progress. So if you want to be a great paddler, there are a few things to keep in mind as you are learning. First thing, where to be on your board. In this video, I will be focusing on beginners, and beginners should be on a big foam board. If you are currently on a shortboard, this video is not for you. So lay down on your big comfy foam board, get your feet out of the water, and find the very edge of the tail with your toes. This is where you want to be when you're paddling. If you are on the shorter side, you may need to move up on the board a little bit, but you can adjust this as you start getting a better feel for paddling. Getting yourself in the best position on the board is going to make sure that you have the least resistance with the water. If you are too far back, you're going to be pushing way too much water. Your nose is going to be sticking too far out. If you are too far forward, your nose might dip and you might actually be dragging the water. You want to be pretty much flat, maybe have the nose up one or two inches out of the water. Now that you have your toes on the board, right at the tail, arch your back. This puts you in the best paddle position. It makes it easier on your arms and shoulders to paddle correctly. This may be a little bit challenging at first, but as you spend more time in the water, you'll get used to it. Don't paddle with your head down. Make sure your back is arched, head is up, and make sure your board is one or two inches out of the water. Next, let's focus on your hands. Now don't fully cup your hands. You actually wanna have a little bit of space in between your fingers. Cupping your hands actually reduces the area and you'll end up paddling slower. Cupping can also lead to injury if there's too much resistance on your shoulders. Now it's time to start paddling. So what do you actually do with your arms? It's basically good front stroke technique. Get your arm fully out of the water after each stroke. Use full strokes, not little half strokes. You want consistent motion, one arm at a time. Don't paddle with both arms. Don't windmill your arms around or paddle too far off to the side. You'll just end up using too much energy or you'll wobble around. Don't put your head down. Don't spread your legs. Like I said, make sure your legs are up on the board, toes are on the very tail, out of the water. Paddling is actually a fairly simple concept, but hard to master. You have lots of other things to deal with when you're in the water, like other people, rip currents, winds, tides. So keep those fundamentals in the back of your head when you're first starting out. Really focus on keeping those feet out of the water, back arched, and head up. Don't be surprised if your arms feel like noodles within 10 minutes, that's totally normal. Even if you are the gym warrior, paddling uses muscles that you don't normally use and you'll end up getting tired fairly quickly. As you go out more and more, you'll end up building paddling endurance. And before you know it, you'll be paddling for an hour without even blinking an eye. If you need any help or tips on paddling, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me an email. In the next episode, we'll tackle our second fundamental, the pop-up. Like